Good evening, Samurai! Welcome to the stream, welcome to the channel, that wasn't supposed to happen. Welcome to the Vortex! My name is Ezio and I will be your guide this evening as we once more journey into worlds, into realms, or no, well, I'm gonna ahead of myself, aren't I? Welcome, good evening, hail stray girl, and to each and every one of you, be a chatter, be a lurker, welcome! Good evening, welcome, good evening, and welcome! For those of you who couldn't join us on the previous leg of our journey, well, we died a lot. And died, and died, and died, and died. We did do some important stuff. Um, we saved Otto, realised that what we did didn't actually unlock the doorbell, so we're going to have to do that. Um, we finally killed Alexis, ha <laughs> ha, who is now alive again because time loop. Hail Jamboree, welcome. And we got some nice shiny guns. We got some quite overpowered submachine guns, which basically, the more we shoot a person, the more health we regenerate. Not too shabby, but I might keep my current loadout. Anyway, with that said, let's get this journey underway, shall we? Come, join me as we once more step foot into the vortex as we continue to travel and traverse the world, the realm of Deathloop. Our destination lays before us, the controls are set, and as always, the PC is turned on, obviously. So let's go, shall we? Oop, that's the wrong button. Karen Bennett. Boop. Every time. Every time. And if I moved those two buttons around, I would still hit the wrong one. Ah. Oh. oh yes, we also um, killed an elementalist with a paint bomb. Woo. Oh, and we did the library. Many, 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 many times. I don't want to go back to the library, but we're going to have to, because I still need to stop Otto from burning down his house. So, yay. And boop, there we go. So, yes, we've got things to do. I want to get this code. I want to find out what's behind this door in Updam, but to do that, we're going to have to visit Updam in the morning, and then Updam at noon, then Updam in the evening, which is... But, oh well. I think there's a radio. There is a radio we need to listen to. Oh, and then there's also the mini game. So we've got some boxes to get excuse me, from control in the morning, which is a time challenge. Then there's another one that's in um, Carl's Bay at night, I think. There's also, uh, we also need to try and take out Frank and get his gun and his slab. And yeah, actually, I don't think he has a slab. So we might just have to get his gun. What's our loadout like? Still very shiny. Um, yeah, okay, I think we're good to go. So, up down. Oh, how I have enjoyed this one. <laughs> right, well, at least we know where we're going. Question is, can I do this without being detected? I'm thinking probably not. Oh, wait, I've just remembered one of my upgrades to my slabs. Okay, we might be able to do this if I'm very careful. And as we know, I am the most careful person in the universe. Yes. Anyway. Uh, go on, Ben. I need to stop doing that. Oh yeah. We... Goodbye. Goodbye. Dee -dee -dee. <laughs> you crazy kids are a heartbeat from the happiest place on this rock. The library. Hope you're ready to go now. Nope. Nobody here but us cannon engineers. The boom, kaboom, boom, boom, kaboom. Um. Oh right. We also need to remember to do this because otherwise we end up in trouble. So we go. Whoop, bump. Beep 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 boop 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 kaboom. Then we do that. Okay, that's fine. So, uh, next plan. Ah. 
Yeah, need to heal. Thank you. Hello. Oh, there they are. Take that out while we're at it. Grab, 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 grab. Thank you. Uh, oh, no. Mine. Good. Boing. The music's still playing. I mean, there's somebody else still around here. Like that. Cool. Right, in that case. Ooh. Crouch. Sell. Needler. Yeah, I try not to eat me, but I'm gonna think. Take them out. Sell. Take them out. Hack a jig. And boop 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 Do that. Madea. Able. Absorb. Them out. Why did I not think of this before? <laughs> Enable that. Absorb the Residium. Go. Go sneaky, 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 sneaky. And because we took out everyone outside, we just go out through the front door, that side door, back door, and we're golden. So that's two of the electricity conduits taken care of. Now we just have to take out the next ones. Bullets don't cost a thing. Well, they kind of do, but I get what you mean, random words. I get what you mean. Right, um, boom. Okay, now I have no idea where the radio is supposed to be. Oh, I also need to go out here and do a thing. Right, what? Boom. That works. Oh, it's dead. Okay. Now, there's supposed to be a radio knocking around somewhere that tells me what the code is. Question is, where's the radio? May have to ask the Oracle on this one. Um... Unless it's in Otto's apartment building. I mean, it burns down at noon, so one can only assume that I needed to save it in so I can hear the message at noon and then go to the door. If memory serves, I could be very wrong. Um, hmm. I might double check this actually because I do not want to go through this palaver over and over and over again. Um, 
done in the morning, it's important that adjacent to Otto's workshop, which blows up at noon, the door is inside the apartment building on the left of Otto's workshop, making it easy to find. To unlock the door to get inside, you need to listen to the secret code that plays on the radio. The code will mention H26 followed by a number. What were radio? Three doors and... Uh... Oh, there are three of these types of door. Okay, then. <clears throat> Get into locked door. Okay. Inside, you need to listen to the secret code that plays over the radio. The code will mention H26 followed by a number. No. Uh, wait. What? Where's the radio? H26 followed by a number for us, it was 16, meaning we have to push the door about 16 times to unlock the door. There will be different, so listen to the radio to figure out where... Cool! That doesn't help. Gordon Bennett. Right. Def loop. Auto. Radio. Spell radio wrong. Um... Okay, no. And, uh, uh, d d d d sorry, give me a minute. Right, that's wrist and rock. That's not that. Right, no, okay. Um, takes place on an island. We know that. Okay, how to find that? No, that's. It. Each of the three different spy islands feature a locked door with a doorbell next to it. It's impossible to get through unless you know the secret code or you get lucky. Fortunately, one of these locations is an alt locations has an alternate entrance. Okay. If you're trying to fish and rock entering in the morning and afternoon, uh hidden one door behind some wooden planks to kick apart uh, uh, further down the ridge, secret tunnel leading you to the storm shelter, aka my you. Inside you'll find seven different pieces of intel, including Something, something, something. Mysterious log, something, something. Uh, hidden coordinates, that's fine. Um, the other spy hideouts, mysterious radio broadcast in the morning. There's also a large concrete wall for the love of Gordon Bennett. It, I'm in the wrong place. Oh. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe I'm not. Um. A jig used to cause disruptions in certain telephone booths, but you can also use it to find large square portable radio systems around the island that can cause disruptions while using the hack jig. Small alleyway below the window. Oh, that's what that radio is. How the dickens was I supposed to figure that one out? I assume I must, I should have, I, it, I, it would have worked better if I'd gone to the actual first spy location in Bristan Rock, but in Furnace, we still haven't found... Oh, yeah, we still need to find um, the Lover's Rendezvous in Fraggle Rock or whatever it is. I wish this was Fraggle Rock. Um, okay, so if I hack and jig this radio... And 13. 11. Okay. H26. 20. 20. Ray. 17. Is this the external thing? Right, so we've got 11. 30 and 26. Also, I'm going to have to switch that back over to OBS. I I don't get a journal entry, do I? Right, fine. Um, cause disruption, I need a piece of paper. And 13. 11. H26. 20. R93. R93. 
17. Okay. We now know what the codes are. God damn it. Well, we found a number station then. Um, but it's less, much less creepy than the other ones we've encountered. Also, we didn't need to stop the thingy burning down because we literally could... Right, so... Is there an indication of which one this is? No. Okay, go for 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 18. Twenty. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Thirty. Thirty-one. Thirty-two. Thirty-three. Thirty-four. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. There we go. It seems the hidden eye heard an help dam that could be accessed by ringing the doorbell twenty times. Yes. Hello. Anyone home? Nope. Lanterns. Mainland traitors and spies. Shoot them all. We found a shiny, shiny. Okay, right, well, I'll grab that. Um, there's an exit. There's a thing. Is there any notes or stuff to tell us what's going on? I don't know what that's looking at. Aha! That works. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Okay, we've got the Moxie. We've got oh, hello. SB report. Game theories. That's not just a... Uh, never mind. That's just a theory. What? By Bull's fabulous prize. When? First day. Source. Various direct observations convert... Uh, direct observation. Conversation with Eternalist Johnson. Brief interaction with 2-bit. 2-bit? 2-b-i-t? Spelling unclear. Advertisements blurring all over Black Reef. Analysis. Hold on to your ass, Red fellow, this one is big. Target Fireball has obtained a handful of particularly potent trinkets and weapons from Target's wa uh, Watchmaker and Bristlebrush. He's handing them out as prizes for his sometimes deadly interactive experiences. The Moxies of Vault as much as a game, but there's a weakness. The rules are governed by machinery accessible via a nearby access door that descends into the Moxies maintenance area. Hackable machinery. Condition detachment may have a similar exploit. All things run by a mechanical man, a few tweaks to his code, and we could control the entire building, in theory. Target fireballs holding that one back until first day, so no way to try it. Yet. Okay, so... That... Rill of play from Charlie. Okay, uh, I'm, that's the Moxie then. Um, yeah. Whack. Into the wolf's den. <clears throat> I'm f well, I'm well fed up with crawling around these cliffs. Puked three times last week, and I don't even have vertigo. Uh, I think. Do I have vertigo? I can't remember. Too much drinking martinis, I think. Either way, found two infiltration routes into Puppy's Palace, though. His booze storage is ventilated, is ventilated across the way. Can see the opening from my window. A tight fit, obviously, but I can squeeze. Swiped one of the fluffer's beers while I was there. Sucked way less than I expected. Oh, uh, over around the right side, there's a similar opening, but the footing's treacherous, and and call sign or no, I don't got wings. Weird, though. Found another Eternalist in a cliffside cave, poking at a safe. Guy by the name of Tinley. Now, I walked away, figured nobody asks any questions, nobody owes any answers, and we all get a see tomorrow. 
Interesting. Chris have an alternate route into the largest mansion in Uptown. Yes, and there's mention of a safe. Also, Gordon Bennett. Bennett all with blue. Hey, all raiders. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Vortex. My name is Ezio, and I will be your guide this evening as we venture through the loop of Black Reef and die, die, and die again. At the minute, we've found a spy hideout. So that's something. We've just found out there's a secret entrance into the mansion, but we already figured that out last time. We can also sabotage the beer supply. It's sacrilege. I know, but we can do that because then the angry wolf man gets really stroppy and then we can shoot him in the head. There, there is a reason for this, by the way. Anyway, hello, web blue, boing, zoom, slimes in your fridge. Let them take them. Uh, let us take them. You can take the slimes and I have some spur stew if anyone wants it. Um, <laughs> yeah, same thing. Hail Cyborg Giraffe. Hail Radar. Welcome. And we've already said hail to Jamboree. Also, before I forget, hold on, shout out at we blue. Oh, God bot. Marvellous. Spizz bot is one of the good ones. On an immediate stretch. Okay, sure. <laughs> Jacket too? Well, if I'm wearing the jacket, the arms will stretch, my dear. Uh, oh, you don't have eyes. Trust me, the jacket's stretching. Did it out? Okay, yeah, oh, okay, I said that. Uh, yep, that, yep, that needs stretching. Ow. <laughs> this is what 200 punches will do to you. Is it? Is it? Yes, it is! <laughs> Why are you pointing a gun at me? The, the jacket is doing a, The jacket's stretched. Huzzah. See, even Colt's helping out with some stretching. He will break his hip, Blue. I'm sat down. Chat, what are you on? And can I have some? Um, right, anyway. Where were we? Oh, yes. Agent... W double O map pass or something. Puppies play things. Oh, do I really want to read this? <clears throat> Puppies special priority package finally arrived. Contrary to our suspicions, it's just a statue of himself. Guy had half this island hauling this fluffing thing up from the wharf. Thought I was gonna throw out my back. Then he forced us to watch for two hours while he had three of his lady lackeys polish it. Said, and I quote, That's the best fluffing creation in existence and I want to see it shine. Now focus on the crotch more. While we waited, a second shipment arrived. A crate of chocolate beer. Think puppy let us try it? Nope. Had to ex escort into the, uh, uh, had it escorted into the house under armed guard. All in all... An utter waste of an assignment. Yeah, that's true. Brittle back. Not what? <laughs> my back? No, my back's fine. Um, I just don't have any legs. Right, there we go. Starbit observation. Oh, starbird. Day sixty-eight. My voice is better. Today zero. Observations of puppy and fireball. Last night's party at puppies featured a lot of. Oh. <laughs> Cheers, I'd Blue. Mr. Wolf doesn't seem to be bothered by the program's policy in this matter, fucker. As for Fireball, his team started working on the other mansion. I think they're turning it into oh. another game. Uh oh. Still find it hard to believe this is an actual job. In other news, heating is broken again. <sighs> <laughs> the life of a spy. Oh, hello. Starbird's lucky numbers. Starbird, your lucky numbers are three, three dash one. That's supposed to be three one one three i one. Uh, that's i is not a game. What are you what? Starbird, your lucky numbers are three one one. Secure this. Uh, uh, secure this in a safe location. Not your up damn squat or memorize and dispose of it. No more fluff ups. Red Bow. <clears throat> How do I organize my Oh time? no, it's Alexis. We're we're breaking time. We're, we're fucking making time here, am I right? 
Outside the loop, though, look, shit either happens or it doesn't. It doesn't take a fucking day planner to see that. It doesn't take reports and records. Me, I make shit happen. Okay, it's, it's as simple as that. What is my greatest regret? My only regret is doing this stupid fucking interview. <laughs> Just shitting you. <sighs> uh, when did I realize I possess great vision? How the fuck am I supposed to answer this question? Are you asking me when I had my first thoughts? Are you asking me when I, I first was able to speak? I had vision when I opened my eyes. Just put, just put always or, or something. I don't, I don't care. Well, he sounds like a charming individual. Oh wait, we already know he isn't. Um, I wonder if we could have snuck in here anyway. Oh well, whatever. Um, right, so now we have an important question. Do we take the shiny shotgun? I mean, it's a shiny shotgun. Sorry, Verso. We were okay. Yep, we we'll come back for you. Uh, obituary fragment? Oh, this is our... Oh, oh... Lila Blake of West Z Zestef Street passed late last week at the age of 51 due to complications from Karazovov syndrome, with which she struggled for most of her life. Miss Blake, a retired member of the armed forces, served as a page at the National Li uh, served as a page at the National Library for much of her last two decades. Miss Blake is preceded in death by her parents. Castor and Nyla Blake of Jacksonville, uh, Jacksonville. She is survived by a daughter, Juliana. No service will be held. <laughs> just that, that's all he got for the death of his lover. Just don't need it. Huh. <laughs> Stay classy, Colt. Stay classy. Right. Well, we've got shotgun. Now, I don't know what we do. Um,. No, seriously, I was expecting this to take the entire day, and it hasn't. Uh, let's go kill a visionary! I still need to find all the codes for the, um... Ow! For the smoky thing as well. Are they all gone? Yeah, they all gone. Do 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 son of a dingus do 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 there we go I guess I forgot to ask how did slime rancher go blue? I I saw part of it. It looked like it was going well. You had found many slimes. And then I I assume we're going to go and farm them. Fun! Good. I kept meaning to play Slime Rancher. And if, uh, imagine my reaction when I finally saw the name of your stream and I realized, oh yeah, <laughs> there's a sequel apparently. I have sat on that game for so long that they have already released the second version. Okay, let's see what we've got here. Oh, um, what can we do in the afternoon? Oh, right. I'll tell you what. We still need to find the lover's hideout on Friston's Rock. So, let us do that. Oh yeah, there's also the secret thing. Um, right, I've got that gun. I've got that gun. So I've got the two legendaries. Um, oh. Flexibility is key. Oh, this is how we get the fancy guns. Okay, cool. So we've got one gun left, and we have to play Charlie's stupid mini game to find it. Fair enough. I must admit, I do like the look of Slime Rancher. I need to play it at some point. I saw there's also a new Sonic game released, which I should also probably get round to at some point. Um, all right, there we go. So we track that lead. Oh, wait a minute. Well, that happens in the afternoon. We need to do it. No, I don't need to do anything at the complex. Okay, right. So, uh, no, hold on. Uh, load out. Infuse gear. 
Got a new gun. Infuse. So we keep that. Character trinkets. Because Shandown hit spring healed. We don't need... Do I have a spring healed? Uh, right, that's blue? Or purple? Yeah, that's no, a blue. Okay. So I don't need that one. We've already got it. Weapon trinkets. Stopping power. Damaging an enemy slows them down. Well, we'll go for the blue ones. Lightning strike. Distance over which your weapon does full damage. Yes. Go. Um, simple solution. Um, character trinkets. That's enough. Weapon trinkets. Back to the lightning strike. For those of you new to Deathloop, basically, at the end of every day, the game resets. So... We have the infusion system. As we go around the world, we can collect stuff called Residium. We then use Residium to infuse with our weapons and trinkets, the weapon upgrades and power-ups and stuff. And if we don't, at the end of the day, we lose at the end of the day, we lose everything we don't infuse. So obviously it's in our best interest to take the best of all of the stuff and infuse it. So I put those two awesome jewel pistols down before in Updam to get the shotgun. At the end of the day. I will now have both the shotgun and the pistols because I infused them. So that's why. That That's how that works. Um, also, this no longer has trinkets equipped to it. So, fun. Um, let's go with uh, stopping power. Uh, speed loader. And lightning strike. There we go. That sounds good. Do I have any... Thing? No, I don't. Okay, so we've got all of that. Yeah, okay. Cool, right. Uh, let's skip till no uh, the afternoon so we can go and do Briston Rock and search for the Lover's Rendezvous on the shore. Now, come to think of it, isn't thingy in her bunker at this time oh yeah the current target fair brilliant lass doesn't seem particularly bright and yet somehow managed to resurrect an old nuclear reactor which she will overload if she spots us and blow the island to kingdom come so yeah don't get caught is the answer and as as chat will attest I never get caught by her, and I have most certainly didn't find that out by her blowing me up on our first encounter. It's, yes, I mean, no, 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 no. Uh, oh, this is different. You weren't here before. Hello. Goodbye. Hmm. Oh, I'm good. Okay, so. We need the find could have been a dream edit 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 hmm Oh god, it couldn't have been that simple all this time, could it? Probably not. Hold on. There we go. It's now on my side. Oh, they're making snowmen. Oh, I feel kind of bad now. There we go. They'll be back tomorrow. It's fine. Oh, blimey. Mm, done. Ah, oh. Time to find out how well this does. Oh! <laughs> he went boom. Well, that's what the shotgun does. <laughs> I like that. Um, do I get the pepper mill? No, I think damage in the enemy slows them down. I think I'll be fine. Um, 
Yep, that that certainly did a thing. Oh, more. Uh, do more damage to the day goes on. No, it's fine. Right, is it that they are down here somewhere? Oh, you go. Oh wait, the ice isn't here during the rest of the day, is it? Maybe it is, and I just didn't realise. Oh, that's a thing. Hmm. That means instant death, doesn't it? Can't be that. And that looks like something from Splatoon 3. Um, I honestly thought I was onto something here. I, that kind of disappoints me. I'm not going to lie. No, okay. Or maybe I cracked it. Maybe I came to the conclusion and found the mystery. But no. I did not. Oh. Maybe there's something over here now that I can explore around the shoreline. No. That's the thing up there, but I doubt it. Wait. Wait. Oi, oi, oi. Oh, wait a minute. That's just a trinket of somebody I shot in it. Oh, no, it isn't. It's a residium thing. Okay. Right. So. What we are trying to find is... The Lover's Rendezvous. Photograph implies that the lovers meet at Fristad Rock somewhere near the shoreline. Bunker 9. I agree. I, part of me thinks that there might be a Bunker 9 over... Oh, hello. Near the big bunker. Can't be sure. I suppose there's one way to find out, and that's to climb up here and use this shot. Uh, use my sniper rifle. Okay. That's the one I'm thinking of. Unless there's one further around. Yeah, it was me. Sorry, you're dead. Um, hmm. I don't know what happened here, but it looks like there was a party and I wasn't invited. There's the radio again. Oh yeah, I need to look for the bunker. Uh, hmm. Kill them all, then kill more. Well, you heard the angry sign, chat. We must do this. Um, I also need to find some help, but I'm sure I'll be fine. Right here. Oh, aeroplane! I remember that aeroplane. So does that mean I could only get to it in the afternoon? <laughs> Found it. Charlie and Thea took that photo somewhere around here. Literally here, Colt. It was literally here, Colt. It's literally here. There is the plane. There is the door. Let us go inside. And I've just realized that probably in here. What is this? Ah. What's that, I wonder? Uh, order of operations? Ah! 
I thought it, oh, it's a cassette tape. I thought it was a little happy, a little robot face then. Uh, that's a bit disappointing.